So June was not a very good month for Ethereum. Uh, we're closing the month down about 10%. Uh, since the high on June 1st at about 252. We did break out of that uptrend. And right now on the four hour chart, we did break below the 21, the 50 and the 200 day moving average. Uh, we did test 252 times, but it got rejected and we did make a lower low going right into July. That's not looking good so far. Uh, there is a possibility for a head and shoulder pattern to form and also a possibility for a new strong support to hold for the uptrend to continue. So let's talk about the four hour support and resistance levels for July. The first level of support being 216, uh, which was the low from June. The next level of support after that uh, would be around $210, uh, which was a major support after the high in May and after the Bitcoin halving. As for resistance levels, we're not too far off. Uh, the next level would be right around 230. There is a possibility that will be tested sometime early July, but that is also a resistance zone for the 200 moving average. $240 would be the next resistance level after that. It would bring us right back in the uptrend and possibly make us test higher levels than June. Let's look at some of the latest news going into July that will have an impact on the price of Ethereum. And then let's jump right back into the platform and have a look at the chart. Uh, reported a few days ago, there is some fear for a possible sell-off for Ethereum. Uh, after the Plus Token scam has recently moved $186 million worth of Ethereum. Uh, they tried to move about 800,000 Ethereum, but the transactions of the stolen funds were being held up because they were congested in the Ethereum network. The $186 million transfer came from known addresses that people know of, but and then it was later split into 50 different transactions. Despite the outcome of the plus token scam, it's still causing damage to crypto uh, since they're able to liquidate large amounts of Bitcoin and Ethereum that they hold, sell them periodically, affecting the price across multiple exchanges. Uh, we will keep an eye on this and continue to update you guys on it. And we'll see how much of this Ethereum will be sold off in July. Uh, one positive thing is the Ethereum transactions did reach an all time high. Uh, which caused the network to be congested. Uh, it was suspected that mining pools were the ones spamming the network. Uh, it reached 1.1 million transactions for the first time since 1.35 million transactions in early 2018. It is suspected that most of this is coming from uh, the miners. Three top mining pools are the ones issuing tens of thousands of small transactions per day. So a congested network uh, and all-time high transaction is good because it shows that the network's being used but when you see that it's not really being utilized in the way it's meant to be used, then that's not too bullish for Ethereum. One good thing is congested networks do slow down money laundering, uh, similar to what's going on with Plus Token. So moving on to Ethereum 2.0, Ethereum's blog showed that development is still moving along and that contributors, community members, and validators have been busy. Uh, Ethereum 2.0 will be a big catalyst for the price of Ethereum. Uh, since it will be moving into a proof of stake protocol, uh, which will require you to hold a minimum of 32 Ethereum to be able to stake. And today, Monday, June 29th, uh, is the set release date for the next testnet update. Uh, with the testnet being reported as ready to go, uh, this pushes us way closer to the final release and July might possibly have a surprise update. But let's jump into platform, look at the chart and see what the price is telling us right now. Here on the four hour chart for Ethereum, uh, July is not looking so good. Uh, we did break out of this uptrend from May and June, but it looks like we're going to be testing some support levels for July. We are below the 200 moving average. And the last time we were below the 200 moving average was way back here when we crossed under in March. Uh, that was the last time the price actually closed below the 200 moving average for a few candles rather than just bouncing off of it. So what I do see of a possibility for July is a head and shoulder pattern happening. By the time August comes, September, then we'll see which direction Ethereum wants to go, whether that's down here to a double bottom or break out of that head and shoulder pattern and go up to test the highs from June. On the daily chart, uh, we also broke out of this uptrend and we went below the 21 day moving average and currently ranging around the 50 day moving average uh, for the first time since we crossed over back here in April. A head and shoulder pattern also looks possible here. And a breakdown to this 200 day moving average, uh, which would possibly bring, bring us around the $200 range in July. If we get some bullish news on Ethereum 
and Bitcoin and other crypto starts having a bullish reversal, uh, then we can expect a bounce right up to this trend line. Uh, bringing us to around the $240 range. So the MACD, it is still bearish right now. And the RSI is sitting at about 40. Um, some more downside price action would bring it down to about 30, which would be a perfect buy to dip opportunity, similar to what we had in March when we were oversold. Uh, my bullish outlook for July is some more downside price action. And then we bounce off that 200 day moving average uh, to give us a higher low for the year and which would also be the right shoulder of the head and shoulder pattern. And if we were to bounce off that and get right back in this trend line, we could potentially go up to test this previous trend line we were in uh, with a strong resistance at about $260. My bearish outlook for July would be that we bounce right off the May support levels at about 210, fail to make a new high and break down to the 200 day moving average. And if that support does not hold, then we can continue to make our ways down to April support levels down right around here, uh, which would give us a potential for a double bottom for the year. There is a possibility to also range for the month of July, but as more fears coming into the market and COVID cases are on the rise again, uh, it is possible that markets will be very volatile again and we will have big swings in either direction. So let me know in the comments what you think we can expect for July. Uh, bullish, break down that 200 day moving average, bounce off of that. To continue our the uptrend or bearish will range around the current support levels test may lows uh break down a 200 day moving average and continue our ways down for a double bottom so thanks for watching i will be following up on this again and if you enjoy it don't forget hit that like button and i'll see you next time it's john at real john doe from currency.com for more trading videos just like this please subscribe to our channel Thank you.